Mike and Stephanie back on Start Your Day. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. He's on. The only reason I didn't, I, know, I decided to look straight ahead and not even crack a smile. I know he's on a book tour. So he must have been talking to Stephanie right before. You know, I love John. Yeah. And the way he talks about he black knows people. You. I had to, yeah, somebody like that, I'll give a pass. If it had it been somebody else, I would have said, excuse me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now that you, you Stephanie is the first you person, I'll some... take the next. Right. But I love him too much. You'll need it's some an anti-monkey butt He's just cream. Innocent. Right. Because that's, oh, that's when you get what chased. What is this about? That's when you get upset. It's so a Mike McCarthy, Cowboys coach, under some fire. In motivational tactics. Uh, one week he's smashing watermelons. The next week, after a big loss against the Denver Broncos, he's throwing out some anti-monkey butt to his team. It's a cream when you, you know, when you took it, you know, and it's no, I don't know. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All so right. mm-hmm. obviously the watermelon monkey black players, um, he's coming on the fire. Hey, look. I, I, I don't think it's the most, I don't think it's the smartest thing in the world. Uh, it might be a little, ins- I, but I think sometimes racism is intent. And I don't, I, I really, I, nah, I'm not in this man's head. I don't think he meant anything by it. I just think that it was kind of dumb to do when you got black players. But I'm not going to go as far as calling it racist. But, but he's on the fire for it because of the environment we are in right now. And uh, you can kind of understand that. What do you think, Sharon? Well, anytime I can hate on the Cowboys growing up, uh, this <laughs> was an Eagles family. So anytime I can, yes, he, mm-hmm. uh, he probably should resign for this. Um, I think you can be racist and not know it. I think you can do racist things and not know it. So I'm, I checked the racist box, who cares? Um, but I also think he is stupid. And I think sometimes there's aspects I like football, so I'm going to give that qualifier there. I think there's aspects of football, including pro football, that are so dumb and juvenile and sophomoric. Mm. If you have to take people who are professionals who've been in this game their whole lives and treat them in this way, I think that's stupid, okay? I uh, like a more Phil Mm. Jackson approach in coaching. Treat men like men. Uh, There's psychology and personalities and all that. But, but football, the thing, the reason I say there's a stupid aspect, this group thing, and I understand that in order to take the field and, and one team, one task, da, 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 any given Sunday, both teams played hard, whatever you want to say about it. But the group thing mm-hmm. here, if I am an educated person, an athlete, and you're going to throw some, mon- what is this, anti-monkey itch stuff? What is this butt Anti-monkey stuff? Anti-monkey butt. What is butt. this? Yeah, you know, like when you Okay. Yeah. This is, so, when you, this is when, so primitive. Okay. All right. Well, come but they, on. they, they got so the ladies. They that, got the I ladies right there. And they got just in the pink bottle. There you go, Sharon. I mean, they, got, they, oh, they got the pink bottle I'm just in case. Chafing. I mean, like, it sound, like, you, so, sound okay. like you're a little upset right now. I, just, with this sense. <laughs> I thought it was just for men. I'd fire him for that. He's going to be fired just for that. Okay. This is so dumb. Okay. <laughs> 